guys, Nuka here. So now I'm going to do the review of the Allen Shotgun Shell Belt. I just finished up my review with the Allen Shotgun Shell Holder that you actually put on your bus stock. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a link in this uh, description here for you to go there and check that out if you want. But in the meantime, dealing with this Shotgun Shell Belt from the Allen Company, I bought this one off Amazon. This cost me about $7. For this belt right here, as it says, a disclaimer holds 25 shotgun shells. And I do believe that to be true because I've counted up to 24 and I am working on my 25th one now. And the reason I waited to do the 25th one is because this belt, I know it seems real simple, it is a belt, but there's something about the actual holder of the shot shell. They are very very skin tight and if you try to originally just put the shell in there on its own you're going to have a hard time struggling getting these shells in and by the way these are the federal two and three quarter inch shells that I purchased at Walmart but uh, back to the belt when I'm trying to put the shell in it is a very hard and tight fit so what I recommend you do is you just grab something like a small screwdriver and you take the end or anything else you get to fit in this hole and you just prime it up. And then obviously what that's going to do is that relies a little more flexibility for what you actually put in the shotgun shell itself. Alright, so with that done, it's a little bit easier to put on this shotgun shell. And as you can see, I'm still kind of struggling with this. I mean, it's really a very tight fit. I don't know if all shotgun shell belts are like this. But this one here is very tight. I'm not sure if it's because that's the way they made it, if it's cheaply made, if all shotgun shell belts come like that. I do understand you don't want your rounds coming out while you're running around and rolled over in the grass and things that such. I got that. But it is a very, very tight fit to get in there. And so if you want to go with the Allen shotgun shell belt, that's a cheap price. I recommend having a little screwdriver as such and then using this to prime up your shell holder. That's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of exertion trying to put these shells in. So like I was saying, this does actually hold up to 25 shells. Uh, pretty simple system. You just click the belt in to the other end. One thing I did notice so far is I cannot find a spot to put the slack at have all this extra slack and I have no idea exactly where to feed that into maybe I'm just not looking at this right I don't know what the case is but it doesn't really seem like there's a real good place to put your slack at all right now I actually have the belt on just to kind of show you that it actually does work it's a nice tight fit I mean of course it's adjustable and like I was saying we really couldn't find a place to put this slack at I don't know, maybe you guys can comment and let me know if I'm doing something wrong. I've looked through the feeder. I don't see anywhere that it possibly goes. So there's something you might have to keep in mind. You might have to kind of tuck it in. Look a little strange, but not too bad. But uh, other than that, the shell belt does fit pretty good. And I noticed in the photography, the photo that they show, all the shells kind of pushed in there. And if you have it like this, you're not going to be able to grip your shell. So what you would have to do is either push up just a little bit to prime it, then you can pull your shell out. Or, you can also take the belt, flip it around and wear it upside down. And even though this looks a little different, it can still be just as effective. And now you can just push down and around, grab it, pull it out, grab it, pull it out, and just get ready to go. So that pretty much sums up my review for the Allen Shotgun Shell Belt. All in all, I paid $7 for it. Drop the shell. I think it's pretty decent. Uh, could be better. But that's my review over it. If you guys like it, please rate, subscribe. Thank you for watching the video. And I'll see you soon. Later.